here are 10 things Ohioans have to constantly explain to outer towners. Hey man, Ohioans appreciate you visiting and dropping some sweet tourism dollars, but they are tired of explaining this stuff over and over. Number one, it is not true. Incoming freshmen to Ohio University in Athens get 55 pounds of free chocolate mint ice cream. It's not true. Number two. Yes, Cleveland was once called the mistake on the lake, but those days are long gone. Now it is known as the rave sort of next to some low waves. Number three. No, 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 no. Cincinnati and Covington, Kentucky do not reenact Civil War battles by shooting cannonballs across the river at each other every Saturday night. It's not true. Number four. Yes, Ohio has been the deciding state in 15 national presidential elections, including Nixon, Reagan, Bush 1, Bush 2, Bush 3, and 2 the 4. Number five. Ohio was not the original name of the state. For 10 years, it was referred to as the land of steel and rubber. Number six, no, they do not actually bowl on the lawn in Bowling Green, Ohio, but they do play polo with the skulls of dead university presidents from the 1920s. Number seven, yes, Youngstown is no longer a major steel producing town, but it has transitioned to the leading maker of Velcro picture frame dots in the world. Number eight, <clears throat> yes, the Browns continue to struggle as of this recording, but let me ask you this, are the managers at your place of employment very smart? There you go. Number nine, no, South Bass Island was never a prisoner island full of busted crooks and thieves. That island is in Michigan. Oh, oh. <laughs> number 10, <laughs> number 10, <laughs> number 10. Uh, yes, Ohioans are super nice as long as you don't play them in Euchre. Then you may get slashed at the throat and not even know it. And folks, that's number 10 on our list of 10 things Ohioans have to constantly explain to out-of-towners.